Hello everyone, it is Stephanie here, aka Sister Steph. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick update and video of how our Disney trip is going. Uh, today is day two for us. Um, day one in the parks though, so we spent the entire day today at Magic Kingdom and um, I'm surprised my toddler, who will be two on Saturday, he actually lasted the whole day at the park. He did nap for about an hour and a half to two hours um, in his city mini stroller and he really enjoyed it. So he was, you know, uh, napped really good, woke up in a great mood. Um, I didn't get a lot of content up today. I wasn't expecting to be, I guess, as busy as we were today. Um, we're kind of all over the place. We did, uh, thanks to my sister, go ahead and we got a virtual queue for Tron. So we rode the new Tron roller coaster, which was super fun. Um, my first time riding a roller coaster in five years. I was terrified, but so glad that I did it. So I would recommend virtual queuing Tron if you plan on coming um, to Disney anytime soon. Um, Lightning Lane or the virtual queue. I think that's the only way you can actually get into Tron right now. There's no standby if I'm not mistaken. Um, also, another thing that we did, we ate today. I didn't get to get to as many snacks as I wanted to, like all the snacks I saw on TikTok. However, we did eat at um, Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. It's in Tomorrowland. We ate there twice today, actually. It's really big. It had a wide variety of things on the menu. Um, I had a chicken sandwich to start with, and um, I had a burger to end with for dinner. Um, chicken sandwich was for lunch. The food is decently priced. It's not, you know, it's it's Disney prices. It's That's what you would expect for Disney. It's not anything that's, like, super cheap, but it wasn't also, like, break your, your you know, bank expensive either. Um, good food. My kid had chicken tenders because every kid that's two years old wants chicken tenders and fries and he had fruit. Um, but yeah, Cosmic Rays was a good place to eat at and I just, like I said, I wasn't expecting to be as busy today so I didn't get to get too much content up. Um, also, I'm trying to just learn how to balance, you know, the, I'm a very much of a living in the moment type of person and not staring at the moment through a screen. So, um, but all in all, it was a good day. It was busy but in a good way. I would say if you ever plan on coming to uh, Florida in August, end of July, beginning of August, or in August in general, definitely prepare for the heat. The heat was brutal today. I was sweating behind my knees, my elbows were sweating, my toes were sweating. It was <laughs> it was brutal. I got sunburned and I was reapplying my sunscreen. I reapplied it twice today and I still managed to get sunburned. So definitely prepare for the heat. That's another thing I would say. Um, but yeah, the show at the end um, was an awesome show. One thing about it though is I personally wish I would have stayed towards the further end of Main Street. I guess it's all about how close you want to be to the castle. We did try to get fairly close to the castle because we wanted to see my son's face light up. This was his first time seeing the show. However, everyone gathers towards the center of um main street right in front of the castle or that's the end of main street but it's like a big circle right in front of the castle everyone in the theme park gathers right there basically and the heat was excruciating like the air was so thick it was hard to breathe um we did notice that further towards the end of main street or the beginning of main street i guess what you would call or in, in the middle of main street um there wasn't as many people you had a clear view of the castle still you're just a lot further away so you can't see the projections on the castle as well but better for the heat it's, it's not as bad you still feel the breeze the kids aren't as comfortable so that's another tip that i would have you know if you wanted to go ahead and stay until the end also the show doesn't start until 9 20 p.m so it is a pretty late show getting out of the park was it, it literally took us maybe like two hours to get out that park we took the ferry to get out the lines were long people were pushing by this point you know everyone is just irritated want to get back home and to their hotel and just gotta have some patience you know and remember that the day was magical and you want to end it on a magical note although it doesn't feel so magical getting out the park very long lines um but other than that yeah like i said it was a great day at magic kingdom i'm gonna try to go ahead and get some more content up for you guys tomorrow I'll do a little more in terms of reviews i'm going to epcot tomorrow for sure we're also going to hollywood studios tomorrow so i'm definitely excited to do some food and drink reviews for you guys tomorrow um but yeah it's time for me to go ahead and you know settle down for the night and get ready for tomorrow and i will be talking to you guys soon subscribe like and share thank you for watching